And welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports. We're down here in Goalie Utopia with Cam Matwiv, surrounded by just goalie gear everywhere. It's, yeah. It's nice to be back, Cam. And nice to be talking about new gear again. The brand new CCM E-Flex 5 Pro Chest Protector, which launches today on the same day as the podcast. Uh, we've lost the shield name. We've kept some of the fit, flow, function, and movement. Walk us through some of the changes on this line, what you're expecting, what the early feedback has been um, on a chest protector that I just put on. And I guess the best sign is no problem putting my uh, own microphone on just after wearing it. So a lot of mobility right out of the box. I feel like I'm in an XL right now. I feel like I maybe should be a large, so it might look a little bulky on me, folks. But um, just again, the range of motion and the ability, again, the range of motion where it counts, which is what they're focused on out in front of you and shoulder motion uh, just feels really nice. Yeah, you you kind of hit a lot of the points, and, and like you said, yeah. Stole your thunder, eh? Uh, a little bit, but Sorry don't worry, I, I still got lots to come from. Um, so yes, the shield name is gone, but it's kept all of those same familiar shield features of that supreme mobility, um, and really, really focused on you know letting you get in front of your body, getting over top without the chest protector restricting you or bulking up. Now, I didn't choose to put the XL on, that was, Kevin's own choice. He's lost a little bit of weight, so the XL no longer fits. So maybe he does have to go to the large. That was a compliment, not a dig. I'm pretty sure the fact that it actually was him that brought out the XL was meant to be a dig, but uh, I'm happy that it's a little big on me. <laughs> Keep so, going, smart some key, Some key features. Um, D3O. So let's start with that in terms of the protection value for the chest protector. D3O sternum and the D3O actually wraps in right in front of the shoulders and kind of collarbone area too as well. Um, nice call out. Uh, you can visibly see it. Nice and padded all the way through. That A is going to help you to absorb that chest shot and help to bring it in, but it's also going to give you that protection value that you're especially going to need for those hard sternum shots. Shoulder floaters, um, similar to what you see on the current uh, shield that's actually on its way out. Um, still flexible, um, designed to move a little bit more with you. Segmented at that top portion of the shoulder, again, to help kind of wrap around the shoulder. Um, easily adjustable with a Velcro tab on top, so you can kind of pull it up a little bit more, have it kind of puff up a bit, or really wrap it tight to your shoulders, whatever your personal preference is. Same thing with adjustability, uh, moving on to the chest height in particular so that's on the back side of the chest that allows you to again pull the body up or move it down kind of dial it in continuing with adjustment styles of the chest as you kind of fidget with that rib protection right now i was playing with it i noticed some changes removable rib pad this is something that was featured on the last series of chests. so say you want to puff out the side of the chest a little bit more um, that's something you want to leave in take it out you want a little bit of a tighter fit somebody who tucks in their chest protector really likes that body wrapped around them that's something that is removable, not sacrificing a protection. It's just a piece of low density foam that is uh, air vented too, so it's nice and breathable, but won't really affect the protection value of the chest itself. Moving on to the arms. Moving on to the arms. We'll flip all around here. Adjustable arms, something again that we've kind of come accustomed to. Uh, nice feature, helps us dial in the chest, especially adding a little bit of growth room to it as well. So, you know, some uh, major midget players and things like that, or even major bantam, um, they need that pro chest, but it's kind of hard because they're still growing. This gives us that chance to kind of pull it in nice and tight and let it out as we go. So, um, quick uh, chat on the actual uh, shoulder cap itself. Um, this has been extended a little bit over the E-Flex, uh, or sorry, over the Shield 2 chest protector. Um, just gives a little bit more coverage and adds a little bit to the profile of the chest. It's still tapered down and follows the shoulder downward, so it's not exactly like puffing your shoulders out, but it does add an extra layer of protection there up at the top too, because you get that hard cap uh, instead of just straight your arm. So, arm itself, again, something that we have seen um, on the Shield 2. However, moving on to the back side of it, CCM's added a complete wraparound wrist. Um, this gives you just a little bit more protection in terms of for that gloves up position, but also too, that can bring in tightly around that wrist as well. So if you really wanna have that tight lower fit and have that chest really sit kind of just above your wrist, but nice and snug, nice adjustability feature. Bolded elbow caps. These are some of the best elbow caps that uh, are around. Nice and hard, really gonna protect, especially if you're diving over catch that bottom of the ice that's going to give you supreme protection independently adjustable so almost like you see in a player uh, elbow cap as well giving you that nice tight fit but not necessarily pulling the arm so tight that he can't move it either so um, some great features on the chest it's lightweight it's mobile 
is it the right one for you? Find out. You can give me a call, 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790. I had my coffee this morning. That was a hell of a job, buddy. Like, just let you run. Look at you, superstar. I love the elbows. This has been a feature that we've seen but dating back to the shield line. The fact that the elbow pads, like you said, it's almost like having a player's elbow pad inside a goalie arm. You know, if you've ever had a chest protector where you find as the game goes on or as it wears in or wears down over the years, um, your elbow's no longer sitting in the elbow cap. That can become a little dangerous. It's also, you know, you're always kind of adjusting it and playing with it when you're out on the ice. This really locks you in. And I'd never thought of that. You can adjust it tight around your elbow without necessarily making that that arm area smaller. So that's a great feature and a great call out by you, Cam. All right, thank you very much. Uh, great job on this one. We'll continue to make our way through the new eFlex 5 line. We've got some other new lines coming up, a Bauer Hyperlight we talked about, but some other features with new Chesty and new other products to go with that coming up here through the month of May. Make sure you stay tuned for the gear segment here at Ingoal Radio. And make sure you talk to Cam or check them out at thehockeyshop.com. If you've got any questions on any of the latest lines coming out for the upcoming 2021 2022 season, 2022, 2022, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>